Hello, welcome to this DCS F16 tutorial. In this video, I will be covering the use of dumb bombs in both CCIP and CCRP fashions. CCIP is continuously computed impact point, and that is useful for dive bombs. CCRP is continuously computed release point, and that's good for keeping yourself out of danger. You just mark a target and then fly over it. To begin, I've outfitted my aircraft with some dumb bombs. I have the 3X Mark 82 500 pound uh, bomb, low drag. And I have uh, those on pylons 7, 6, 4, and 3. Let's make sure I throw a fuel tank on there. Request Once we have our bombs on, we can go to air to ground mode and we will see our uh, weapons configuration page on our SMS. So if you're not on SMS, click SMS while you're in air to ground and we have a variety of options. Up top, we have our release mode, currently CCIP which is the first I will cover. The next is CCRP, and then DTOS. DTOS falls into CCRP, but you use your helmet or your HUD as a targeting method. I find myself using this um, pretty much every single time I bomb with the 16, unless I'm in a rare circumstance where I need to dive bomb. Over on the side, we have our weapon. So we have 12 Mark 82s. If we had multiple weapons, we could click this button and it would cycle between the munitions on our plane. Here we have our fusing option, either nose tail, nose, or tail. Here we have a uh, release method where we can drop a single or we can drop a pair. If we were dropping multiple bombs um, with a amount of space between them we could set it here. Impact spacing. We'll leave it on the default of 10 so I will hit return. If I wanted to change it I could just type in the number say 20 Hit enter, and now it is 20. Put that back to 10 for now. Here we have the ripple quantity. So the release pulses, the amount that we need to release at once, so it's one. If we were dropping four bombs, we would type in four, hit enter. And in our current configuration, we would drop four bombs single with 10 feet between the bombs uh, so that would mean we're dropping one bomb, 10 feet would pass, drop another, 10 feet, drop another. So it would space out all four bombs over a 40 foot area. If I hit four pairs, it would drop um, four pairs of bombs with 10 feet between them. And you can see how that could be useful for... Um, bombing, especially dumb bombing where it might not be accurate. Profile, you can set profiles for quick release methods. I'll actually do that here for later on demonstration. So I want to do ripple two singles with 10 feet between them. And now I can quickly, quickly toggle between them by clicking the profile button. Put that back to nose tail. Here we can set different fusing options. All right, let's get up in the air and actually demonstrate utilizing them.
So our first method, CCIP, continuously computed impact point, is a dive bomb style attack, where we are going to dive. We will see this line indicating our drop. At the bottom, this circle with the setter bullseye indicates where we are trying to drop the bomb. And up the line, we will see this horizontal. We can only release in CCIP accurately when this horizontal reaches the bullseye at the bottom. I'll demonstrate that here. So if I nose over, we see the line meets. I'll pull up a bit so it becomes inaccurate. So we see that horizontal line meets the circle and that's showing us that where the circle is is where our bomb will impact. If I hit the weapon release button, it will drop a munition according to our configuration. Let's go try that on a target. Out there, we can see my steer point diamond so I know where my targets are. I already put a steer point in the middle of the target area for easy navigation. That upside down U you saw flash indicated a possible um, release that would be unsafe for my aircraft where I might damage myself. All right, looks like my external tanks are empty. So I'll bring up station jettison, select my tank, get rid of that with weapon release. Put this in snow, uh, no, I won't put it in snowplow. Targeting pod really doesn't matter all that much when um, you're doing CCIP. When you're doing CCIP, um, ideally, it will show you where the center bullseye is pointed for extremely accurate release. So you can keep that in mind. Um, but if you're looking at your targeting pod when you're dive bombing, you better be sure you don't hit the ground. All right, let's get some altitude so I can dive on down. All right, I'm gonna let the horizontal line meet the bullseye and then just fly. I probably dived down too early here but we can demonstrate. There is a Kraz off to the left here. Weapon release. So I released it off to the right of the target. But I still ended up damaging it with the splash. So it goes right where that circle is. Um, I didn't want to commit too much because there is a AAA over there. But I'll show you a safer method now that I can use to deal with the AAA. So CCRP, we can select a target with our targeting pod. But I'm going to use DTOS so I can just use my helmet to find the target area. CCRP, continuously computed release point, and DTOS function exactly the same. If you recall from the targeting pod video, I can make my helmet my sensor of interest and target with that. Or I can even target with the square on my velocity vector. Just point it where I want it. TMS, target management switch up. And then it puts the square there. I'll TMS aft to reset it. Hold TMS forward and then release. I get it in my helmet. And let's get it in the target area. Let's look somewhere over there. All right, there's that triple A. That makes dive bombing so difficult. So I'm going to put my cross over where I want the bombs to drop. I'm not going to point it 
uh, towards the top of the target because that's actually aiming at the ground behind it. So I'll put it right on the base. So I'm aiming at the ground where the target is. And I'll fly over towards the target. On our HUD, we now have a new symbology. We have a steering line that we want to center on our velocity vector and the horizontal line that we saw before. Now we want to fly the line until the horizontal line drops. And as soon as it starts to drop, we are going to hold our weapon release button. And when it crosses our velocity vector, we will release the munition. So we see the horizontal up there. I'm going to hold weapon release. And as soon as it crosses my velocity vector, I get a flash and the bomb has been released. We'll see how accurate that was. For dumb bombs, you want to be as precise as you possibly can be on that line. If you're not, if you're off even a little bit, your bomb will miss. There you go, so I was off a bit. When you're using CCRP, you want to be flying as consistently as possible so the computer can calculate your impact. And also keep in mind the higher you are, the less accurate they will be as wind can affect your targets. So that one I was up about 13,000. I'll come back around and I'll get a little bit lower. So this time I'm about oh, 8,300 feet. I'll fly the line, flying as consistently as I can, but fast enough where I hopefully won't get shot down by the zoo. All right, the line is dropping. I'm gonna hold my weapon release, try and get right on that line, and weapon release. And we got the zoo. So it just goes to show if you're right on the line, you'll hit your target. If you're off even the slightest bit, you're going to miss. Now that that pesky zoo is out of the way, I can go back to my CCIP example. And this time, instead of my single, I'm going to change to profile two, where I'm going to fire off two at once. DCIP, there I go. I'm gonna get some of these labels out of the way. Get some altitude. And we'll go for that target right in front of me. Release. Go for this guy. Release. I was off to the left, but maybe this splash damage will get him. And we got him. We can see when exactly where the cursor was. I have three left. So let's go ahead and do a, another DTOS, but this time I'm going to launch all three that I have left. So let's go 
singles, ripple three, enter. And let's make it, oh, five feet between. Oh, you can't. Looks like 10's the minimum. So I'll put it back to 10. This time I'll put it to nose. And this time it'll have a two second delay on the impact. Since I'm in DTOS, make my helmet my sensor of interest. TMS forward long, make the helmet the targeting cursor. Put it in the area and then use my targeting pod to dial it in. All right, fly the line. That was a bit to the left, so we'll see if they hit. But that circle you saw was actually not a release window cue, but a lofting cue. So if I, when that circle appeared, I held the weapon release and I pulled up. It was actually a targeting indicator to loft a bomb in an arc. Got some damage on there. Suppressed I even got that since I was off a bit. But just goes to show how precise you need to be. Generally, for dumb bombs, uh, you want to be going lower so they're more accurate. And you have to be extremely precise with your control. Most of your munitions, though, are going to be smart munitions. So this is just good flying and technique practice and getting yourself familiar with the different release methods. That covers dumb bombs. Hope it helped. Thanks for watching.